A very good morning aspirants this is me Yasmin Gill presenting to you the PIB MCQs of 7th of January so you can follow all these videos on this particular link and you can also rate and review the videos and how can you do so quickly go on an academy search PIB January so once you search PIB January you will come across various courses so just click on the MCQ course and once you click on it under review section you can write your review as well as give star ratings so let's begin with a couple of instructions do watch yesterday's PIB summary and once you do attempt all those questions do mention your scorecard so beginning with the first question which state recently signed a mou that is memorandum of understanding with patanjali to develop a word herbal forest so this is a recent news in fact it was in yesterday's indian express so options are madhya pradesh goa kerala and haryana and well the correct answer to this question is haryana and it is to be developed in panchkula in haryana next what is the name of indian american who has been recently selected to serve in student advisory board which is formed to educate teens in america Arun Tiwari, Manjul Bhargav, Shweta Prabhakar and Anita Chaudhary. Again, yesterday's news and well, the correct answer to this question is Shweta Prabhakar is the one uh, Indian American who has been selected in this particular board and the board has been formed by First Lady Michelle Obama. Also, uh, this uh, Shweta Prabhakar, the uh, board which she has been selected into is also named as the Better Make Room Campaign. This is primarily to educate teens and this is mainly for computer education. Next. The story of the world's most infamous diamond is a famous book authored by so this is a recent book release so authored by options A Romila Thapar B Bipin Chandra C B S Alitor and uh, Irfan Habib D William Dalpel and uh, Anita Anand And well the correct answer to this question is D William Dalpel and Anita Anand very important and these are very very famous authors of history so the correct answer is William Dalpel and Anita Anand also this book is related to Kohinoor and therefore it's important next which among them is correct a national testing service is an independent body proposed by mhrd to conduct examinations for primary and secondary education b it is based on educational testing service in finland c nts is proposed to be formed as a society d the primary mandate of cbsc aict etc does not include entrance exam conduction so looking at options here the first one see there is a proposed body by mhrd by the name of national testing service but this will not be conducting examinations for primary and secondary uh, education which will be conducted as they are conducted right now by respective bodies say icsc cbsc etc as far as the uh, nts is concerned as that is national testing service this will be mainly for higher education so first is wrong if you look at b based on educational training service in finland no it is based on educational testing service in us and not in finland so b also stands wrong if you look at c to be formed as society absolutely correct under society act if you look at d primary mandate of cbsc aict etc does not include higher entrance exam conduction this is absolutely true so we here have c and d as the correct option and this is a proposed body by mhrd next again related to nts so which among them is true nts will be a self reliant body b there will be no government of india financing provided to nts c it will be subjected to cag that is comptroller comptroller and auditor general audit d the idea was proposed first in 1992 so looking at options here the first one is absolutely correct see we know as students we know we uh, give money for entrance exams right so via this money the body will be a self reliant body so a is absolutely correct if you look at b there will be no government of india financing this is wrong see uh, by the end the thought is to make it a self reliant body but initially there will be funding given to the tune of 50 crores from uh, for nts if you look at c uh, we have it will be subjected to cag audit absolutely true the idea was first proposed in 1992 absolutely true so other than b we have all of them as the correct option also see it was advocated by program of action in 1992 this program of action was primarily formed to implement new education policy of 1986 and this program of action came up with the idea of national testing service next which among them is true a world's highest altitude gravitational wave telescope is proposed to be built by china b it will be built in tibet and very close to line of actual control with india c the first telescope has been code named nagari number no. 1 d it is expected to be operational by 2018 so recent science and tech news and very important so looking at the correct options here well the correct answer to this question is see a b c three of them are correct 
Now, also do mention in the comment section, India is also coming up with the gravitational wave observatory. And do mention in the comment section with which country are we are we collaborating in this particular operation. As far as the answer to this question is concerned, it is A, B, and C. Why is D wrong? Because not so soon the operation operation would be ended by 2000 or completed by 2021. So this is it. Also, do remember say why this particular site is chosen, which is known as Nagari, uh, which is also the code name of the first telescope. Because Nagari, the location, it has high altitude, clear sky, and minimal human activity, making it a perfect spot to uh, catch the uh, catch any form of signals. Next, which among them is true of Sanford Fleming? B. A. Sorry, he was a Mexican inventor and engineer of Scottish birth. B. He advocated dividing the world into 24 time zones beginning at Greenwich Meridian. C. Both of them are correct or D. None of them is correct. So we look at it uh, into the fact why this is important. So the correct answer here is only B. Why? Because he was not a Mexican, rather he was a Canadian inventor and engineer of Scottish birth. Plus, yes, see, recently Google came up with a doodle related to Stanford Fleming. So, therefore, we have to do it. Also, the personality is himself very important. He came up with the very idea of Greenwich Mean Time and his proposal actually led to a uh, convening of the International Prime Meridian Conference. He's also known for certain other discoveries. You can go through them. Next, which among them is true of Chromebook Plus? A. It will be the first ever Chromebook laptop tablet with predictive stylus. I hope you know the sty uh, what is meant by stylus and integrated app store. B. It will be a collaboration between Google and Microsoft. C. Both of them are correct or D. None of them is correct. Again, from technology perspective mainly and the correct answer to this question is C. Only A is correct. Here. Why? Because this will be a collaboration between Google and Samsung and not Google and Microsoft as mentioned here. So next we have... What is true of them? A. Bitcoin was chosen as the best currency of 2016. B. It is a virtual currency that is created from computer code. C. It, was ba it is backed by Japan. D. It was launched by Satoshi Nakamoto. So, uh, the it was again in news. Bitcoin is again in news. And coming to the options here, the first one is absolutely correct. It has performed even better than the best currencies, that is dollar, etc. And it's a very stable and people are very much investing into this particular currency and hand, hence its rates are also going up. If you look at B, it's a virtual currency that is created from computer code. Absolutely true. If you look at D, launched by Satoshi Nakamoto, this is true. But if you look at C, this is wrong. See, Bitcoin is something which is neither backed by nor controlled by any government or any central bank. So that is the benefit of it because now there'll be no, uh, no, I would say no interference via any central bank to control the rates and no interference or no disturbance, no political disturbances would be cutting down its rate or increasing its rate as per the whims and fancies. So therefore, ABD is the correct option and it is a very stable sort of investment in currency. Last question, which among them is true? A. Dashri Ram Kotwal is a Marathi play. B. It uses the life of Nana Fadnavis to present a historical satire. C. Nana Fadnavis was a Namudiri Brahmin. So uh, here are the options. And uh, coming to the correct option here, f some of the things we have did in PIB. So first one is absolutely correct. Why news? Because see, Ghashiram Kutwal, a movie based on Ghashiram Kutwal was the debut movie of Om Puri. So we got to do this. And this is a very important play by written by Vijay Tendulkar, a very famous name. If you look at B, uses the life of Nana Fadnavis, ab absolutely true. If you look at C, this is wrong. Now, you they see among Brahmins also there are various categories. So, Nana Fadnavis was not an Ambudri Brahmin, rather he was a Chitpavan Brahmin. Now, you have to tell me what are the uh, exact locations where these Brahmins are, uh, where these Brahmins stay. So, one is Namudri Brahmin, do tell me where do they stay. And other is Chitpavan Brahmin, do tell me where do they stay. So, that's it for today. If you find the initiative useful, do not forget to rate and review it and have a great Sunday. Thank you so much.